Hello? Is this the radio program at 3 a.m.? Oh, well, sorry. I didn't expect someone would actually answer. I, I need a second. My name is Levin. I'm about to graduate, and I'm a bit lost about work, the future, and myself. Same, bro, same. Everyone says you're the kindest host. I also would love to hear your opinion. Can I? You've lost count of how many times it's been replayed, but you still can't make out the whole sensor. The memory you have painstakingly recollected are only of Eleven's own voice in her student days. I mean, she, didn't she tell us what she specifically said? Like in the first world or second world or something? My parents keep pushing me. They don't believe in me and want me to follow their plan. Become a clerk and work a 9 to 5 job. Sounds like a good plan. I'm going about the same route. My teachers advise that I continue my studies or find a career in a big company. They told me to stay on the right path and never stray. And my friends said I should become an influencer and, and that I hit all the criteria. No, holy shit, her friends actually said that. That's fucking hilarious. She hits all the criteria. I mean, she does. I mean, she, if she became a fucking streamer, like, she would fucking blow the fucking scene away. Like, look at her, dude. Even the owner at my part-time job at the record store grew worried about my indecision. But I'm really not sure. I don't know what's right and what I can and want to do. There are so many voices around me. I don't know which one to follow. I know everyone means well, but I still feel irritated and want to escape. Um, can you help me? Tell me whose advice I should follow and what I should do. The response becomes even more distant and almost inaudible. Silence ensues. Even you're not talking to me anymore. Have I been complaining too much? Have I bored you? I'm sorry. I can't think of a solution and I'm not a good talker. I don't dare to talk about these things with others. I only dare to tell you. I've been your listener for a long time. You always listen to everyone's troubles and your voice is ever so encouraging. So I... The faint voice on the phone isn't heard again as if it, as if its identif identity is insignificant. It seems ever present in this place where every radio host lingers. Meanwhile, after revealing her true feelings, the girl's anxiety is increasing, palp increasingly palpable. Even the sounds of her nervous breathing and her fumbling with her clothes are clearly audible. Believe in yourself just like how you have followed your inner voice. We will eventually, we will definitely restore everything to normal. Find your lost voice. Suddenly you realize something. Look at, and look at Eleven, whom you have start, st asked to stay. The anxiety on her face is long gone, replaced by a quiet gaze at the faint white dot. Should you say something to her? You're also the host of Call at 3 a.m. and she's your listener too. Do you detest her emotions and expectations of you? Oh, he's gonna make her answer herself. Eleven doesn't answer you or turn around, but simply stares blankly ahead. She begins with that perfect voice of the Call at 3 a.m. host. I'm sorry. I'm not that amazing. In the radio station, I'm nothing more than a jaded employee beneath the mask of a famous host. Work is exhausting and complicated. Adulting is hard. And the future isn't that bright either. I understand your troubles. And maybe I can offer you some advice. But I don't have the answers to all your problems. <laughs> I'm just a useless adult. But I'm glad you're willing to talk to me about these things. Your words might not be pleasant. Perhaps a bit negative even. But they're your precious, honest thoughts. A true reflection of your struggles in life. Thank you for listening to my radio station. For choosing to confide in me and for sharing your life with me. I really appreciate it. This is the voice I've been looking for and the reason why this radio station exists. 
how to manage like troubled voices. So it was not good voices, it was troubled voices. They began sobbing silently. The white dot seems a little stunned, hovering around Eleven helplessly. Although I don't understand everything, you seem to really love this job and these voices. I also like it when people share their true feelings. I may be overreaching, but I think I want to become a radio host like you. Do you think I can do it? You have a faint voice buzzing in your ear like before. But this time is no longer makes you anxious, painful, or grieved. Hello, Levin. I hope my message didn't disturb your rest. I just want to say that every night I spend staying up working, your voice cheers me up so much. You're definitely not some ghost. You're my favorite record that gets me through the longest night. Hi. This is my first time leaving a voicemail. I'm a bit unsure of what to say. <laughs> The other day I was in the shop, I was quite surprised when I heard customers talking about ghost calls. Because this is the program I listen to every night. If those are ghost calls, how am I still here? Your voice is a rare prize, and you're putting it to good use. I believe in you, and I'll keep supporting you. I adore your voice, but the content of the program is a bit dry. Can't you talk about something exciting? Oh, I don't mean to insinuate anything about those ghost calls. What a childish story. You don't think I'll fall for that, do you? But to be frank, your program's content and sound effects lack surprises. That being said, I'll definitely continue to support you. Amid the voices besides Eleven, none of the voice quickly solidifies and transforms into another Eleven. Of course. She replies, cradling the tiny speck of light and her trembling self in her arms. Oh, the timid Levin, who's always struggling and easily overwhelmed by malice. Would this be considered... You know what? I don't know if I should go there, but... I mean... Would this be considered lesbian or would this cons would this be considered masturbation because it's technically her? Oh man. Th these questions come because I've watched too many goddamn memes, man. There was th this is actually from a meme. There was a meme that said like if like another version of you appeared or something like that. And it's like if you stroked yourself off, is that gay or is that just masturbation? I was like this is the perfect situation for that. I'm ruining the vibe, goddammit. You still have to go on in this world. But the good news is, I found my initial strength. And I will never lose you again. Listen to different voices and pick out the sincere ones. Bring them to those in need and soften their hardened souls. You've got a nice voice too. One that makes your listeners happy. If you want, you can do it too. Tears streaming down her face, Eleven glances at you and shows you a relieved, sincere smile. I guess you're done with your shift now. Thanks for your help. She, uh, actually in the MBCC headquarters bureau, she actually records ASMR sometimes at night. This random tidbit. The phone rings again, but this time it doesn't seem to wake anyone up. You rub your eyes and pick up the phone. It's your device that was com that was completely out of power earlier. Huh? Wasn't it out of battery? The screen displays an unknown number. For some reason, you seem to know who's calling because you're not at all surprised to receive this call. Hello? Hello? The void, white void fades away as the noise grew, grows louder in your ears. Slowly you open your eyes widely. Am I back? This is the center of the 5th Avenue in the east side where three streets intersect. 